every newly created configuration object, uh, for example, a document, gets some additional data types. Two of them are documentRef.documentName and documentObject.documentName. The role of these data types is to help us manage our objects. With data type reference, we can refer to a particular object and pass this reference to some procedure. Using data type object, we can create a new document by copying the existing one, or find the respective document and change its attributes, or post the document, or anything else that requires the actual existence of this object. When working with an object module, we deal with data type document object dot document name. For example, if we open the object module for document purchases, we deal with data type document object dot purchases. Let's have a look into syntax assistant. We can see many data types for documents. Each data type has properties and methods, and some of them also have events. Properties are values stored in documents. Methods are functions and procedures that can be applied to documents. Note that we can access any property described in this section from object modules. Now, let us check methods. Here we see the list of methods available to us within object modules. Consider the following example. We use method point in time to display the time when the document is saved. We also get access to the document attribute contractor. Here is how the code runs in the 1C Enterprise mode. We place a random breakpoint in our object module to call window evaluate expression. Here we follow document attribute contractor. We can see that the data type is catalog ref .contractors. With the help of data type reference, we can refer to the corresponding object and set it as read only. It is possible to say that elements of data type reference are stored in a database. And with the help of data type object, we are able to edit our object. So let's sum up the module. In this module, we've taken the first steps in learning the 1C Enterprise syntax. We studied conditionals, loops, learned about functions and procedures, got acquainted with collections, but most importantly, we learned about debugging tools that should greatly help us in the future learning of the platform. That makes Module 1 complete. We'll see you in Module 2.